हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू चैप्टर टू ऑफ योर नाइन्थ क्लास बुक बी हाइव द चैप्टर्स नेम इज द साउंड ऑफ म्यूजिक नाउ सिंस दिस चैप्टर इज अ बिग वन इट इज डिवाइडेड इन टू पार्ट्स एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एवलिन ग्लेनी लिसन टू साउंड विदाउट हियरिंग इट सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सेशन टुडे this part of this chapter we are going to read about a girl named Evelyn Glenny now she is a woman but what makes her special is that she is one of the most famous percussionists in the world and what else she is absolutely deaf let's read about her about her inspiring journey in today's session in this first part of the sound of music and this part is written by debra colley So in this session today I'm going to read and explain the chapter to you along with the word meanings then we'll do summary the moral and let's look at the question answers which are related to this part so let's start with the author first Debra Colley Debra Colley is an Ottawa based writer and broadcaster she has traveled the world while writing more than 100 articles for different editions of the readers digest She has been an on-air broadcaster for CBC Radio in Washington DC and worked for CBC Television in London and Cairo. She is the author of Cairo: A Practical Guide, now in its 17th edition of Lucille Teasdale, Doctor of Courage, shortlisted for the Ottawa Book Award. With her husband George Coley, she wrote One Woman's Journey, a portrait of Pauline Vanier. She has been a member of Writers Union of Canada since 2001. God may have taken her hearing, but he has given her back something extraordinary. What we hear, she feels. far more deeply than any of us that is why she expresses music so beautifully read the following account of a person who fought against a physical disability and made her life a success story now let's read the chapter rush hour crowds jostle for position on the underground train platform jostle means push roughly a slight girl slight means small and thin looking younger than her 17 years was nervous yet excited as she felt the vibrations of the approaching train it was her first day at the prestigious royal academy of music in london prestigious means reputed and daunting enough for any teenager fresh from a scottish farm daunting means frightening but this aspiring musician faced a bigger challenge than most aspiring musician means a person who wants to become a musician she was profoundly deaf profoundly deaf means absolutely deaf deaf is a person who cannot hear the scene is at an underground train platform where there is a lot of rush and people are pushing roughly each other to get into the train and there is this one small thin girl who looks younger than her 17 years of age she looks nervous but excited and she could feel the vibrations of the coming train she was nervous and excited because it was her first day at reputed royal academy of music in london but she was frightened because as a teenager she belonged to the scottish farm that she belonged to a rural place in scotland from there she had come to london and she was little frightened about how it's going to happen she was in a big city like london but this person who wanted to be a musician had faced a bigger challenge 
than most people would face. Her problem was that she was absolutely deaf. Evelyn Glennie's loss of hearing had been gradual. Her mother remembers noticing something was wrong when the eight-year-old Evelyn was waiting to play the piano. They called her name and she didn't move. I suddenly realized she hadn't heard, says Isabel Glennie. Isabel Glennie is the mother of Evelyn Glennie. For quite a while, Evelyn managed to conceal her growing deafness from friends and teachers. Conceal means hide. But by the time she was 11, her marks had deteriorated and her headmistress urged her parents to take her to a specialist. Deteriorated means got worse. It was then discovered that her hearing was severely impaired. Impaired means weakened as a result of gradual nerve damage. They were advised that she should be fitted with hearing aids and sent to school for the deaf. Everything suddenly looked black, says Evelyn. The girl about whom we read in the first paragraph was Evelyn Glennie. Evelyn Glennie had lost her hearing capability very gradually or slowly. And her mother, Isabel Glennie, remembers that she noticed this problem with her when she was eight years old. When she was called to play the piano, she didn't realize because she hadn't heard. Evelyn tried to manage to hide her this growing deafness from teachers and friends. But by the time she became 11 years old, her performance in academics or studies was getting worse and worse. So then finally headmistress advised them to take her to a specialist. When she was checked up by a doctor, it was discovered that her hearing capacity had been severely damaged because of a gradual nerve damage. So the doctor advised the parents that she should be fitted with hearing aids and she should be sent to a different school which was only uh, specifically made for deaf children. The last line, everything suddenly looked black, which is said by Evelyn. It was said because she was disheartened by her incapacity. She was really sorrowful about her disability because at that point of time, her entire life seemed really dark and she did not see any bright future for herself. But Evelyn was not going to give up. She was determined to lead a normal life and pursue her interest in music. One day, she noticed a girl playing a xylophone. A xylophone is a musical instrument with a row of wooden bars of different lengths and decided that she wanted to play it too. Most of the teachers discouraged her, but percussionists. Percussionist is a person who plays the drum, the tabla, etc. Ron Forbes spotted her potential. Potential means quality or ability that can be developed. He began by tuning two large drums to different notes. Don't listen through your ears. He would say, try to sense it some other way, says Evelyn. Suddenly, I realized I could feel the higher drum from the waist up and the lower one from the waist down. Forbes repeated the exercise and soon Evelyn discovered that she could sense certain notes in different parts of her body. I had learned to open my mind and body to sounds and vibrations. The rest was sheer determination and hard work. Sheer means nothing other than that. When Evelyn came to know about her problem, of course, she was sorrowful. She was very, very heartbroken. But she was a determined person. She was a brave girl. She did not want to give up on her life like that. 
and she was determined to lead a normal life and also follow her hobby in music so one day she noticed a girl who was playing a xylophone and she also wanted to play it but her other teachers discouraged it feeling that she won't be able to play it since she was a deaf but there was a percussionist a percussionist is a person who plays musical instruments like drums tabla which which give out music when they vibrate ron forbes was the person who spotted that there was a, a spark in her there was some potential in her he began by tuning two large drums to different notes and he told her that she should not listen through her ears she should sense it in some other way and suddenly she realized that she could sense certain notes in different parts of her body rather than hearing she could experience the vibrations of those musical instruments through her body parts and that's how she picked up music her entire mind and body was now open to sounds and vibrations and then it was only determination and hard work that she had to put into this interest of hers she never looked back from that point onwards she toured the united kingdom with a youth orchestra and by the time she was 16 she had decided to make music her life she auditioned for the royal academy of music audition means gave a short performance so that the director could decide whether she was good enough and scored one of the highest marks in the history of the academy she gradually moved from orchestral work to solo performances at the end of her three year course she had captured most of the top awards so that was the time when evelyn discovered her qualities her determination and her hard work took to the higher levels in life and from that point onwards she never looked back she never felt sad about her disability she went around the uk with youth orchestra orchestra is a group of musicians which plays music on the stage and by the time she was 16 she had decided that she will make music as her profession and passion she also auditioned for this royal academy of music in london and she scored one of the highest marks in the history of that academy and later on as she grew up she moved from orchestral performances to giving solo performance on the stage and by the end of 3 year course she had got a lot of top awards to herself and for all this evelyn won't accept any hint of heroic achievement if you work hard and know where you're going you'll get there and she got right to the top the world's most sought after multi percussionist with a mastery of some 1000 instruments and hectic international schedule sought after means on demand or desired and hectic means very busy now we know that evelyn had attained a lot of popularity she gained a lot of awards but she is a very humble person because she doesn't feel that she has done something heroic she says that if you work hard and know where you're going if you know what your aim is then you will definitely get there and that's true she got to the top she is the world's most desired multi percussionist multi percussionist means a person who can play multiple types of a variety of percussion musical instruments with mastery of some 1000 instruments and she also has a very busy international schedule so we know here that evelyn was very down to earth very kind and very generous about her own life it is intriguing intriguing means fascinating and curious to watch evelyn function so effortlessly without hearing 
In our two-hour discussion, she never missed a word. Men with bushy beards give me trouble. She laughed. It is not just watching the lips, it's the whole face, especially the eyes. She speaks flawlessly with a Scottish lilt. Flawlessly means without a fault or mistake and lilt is a way of speaking. My speech is clear because I could hear till I was 11, she says. But that doesn't explain how she managed to learn French and master basic Japanese. So even though Evelyn is deaf, it is so fascinating or amazing to see how she functions and how she speaks. And she says that men with bushy beards, bushy beards means who have very thick beard on their face, they give her trouble in understanding uh, what the men speak. Because it is not just the lip movement that she understands. She also notices or observe the person's facial expressions and especially the eyes. Through those expressions and through the eyes, uh, she understands what the other person is speaking. Though she speaks in Scottish accent, but her speech is very clear because she became deaf when she was 11. And after that also, she has learnt French as well as basic Japanese. She learned these two languages even though she was deaf. As for music, she explains, it pours in through every part of my body. It tingles in the skin. Tingles means causes a slight pricking or stinging sensation. My cheekbones and even in my hair. When she plays the xylophone, she can sense the sound passing up the stick into her fingertips. By leaning against the drums, she can feel the resonances flowing into her body. Resonances means echoes of sounds. On a wooden platform, she removes her shoes so that the vibrations pass through her bare feet and up her legs. When she listens to the music or when the music is playing or she is playing the music, then there is a tingling sensation in the skin, her cheekbones and even in the hair which means the vibrations of the music or whichever instrument she plays goes into her body. Suppose she is playing a xylophone, then she can sense that the sound is passing up her fingertips into her body. If she is playing drums, then she leans against the drums, she touches the drums and she can feel that the sound flows into her body. Also, when she is performing on the stage, she stands on a wooden platform bare feet, means without wearing any footwear. She removes the shoes so that the vibrations which pass through the wooden platform into her body tells her what kind of music she is playing and what the rhythm is going about. Not surprisingly, Evelyn delights her audiences. In 1991, she was presented with the Royal Philharmonic Society's prestigious Soloist of the Year Award. Says master percussionist James Blades, God may have taken her hearing, but he has given her back something extraordinary. What we hear, she feels far more deeply than any of us. That is why she expresses music so beautifully. In this way, Evelyn always surprises her audience. She gives them joy. She gives them delight through the music that she plays. And in 1991, she was awarded with the Royal Philharmonic Society's Soloist of the Year Award. There is a very famous master percussionist, James Blades who says that God may have taken her hearing power. She, she may not be able to hear anything, but he has given her something extraordinary, something that no one else possess, a quality, an ability 
which you and me do not have what we hear through our ears on the other hand she feels through her body and that is why she can express her music so beautifully to her audience that everyone loves her music evelyn confesses that she is something of a workaholic a workaholic is a very informal term which means a person who finds it difficult to stop working i've just got to work often harder than classical musicians but the rewards are enormous apart from the regular concerts concerts are musical performances evelyn also gives free concerts in prisons and hospitals she also gives high priority to classes for young musicians priority means great importance and richlin of the beethoven fund for deaf children says she is a shining inspiration for deaf children they see that there is nowhere that they cannot go evelyn says that she likes to work but more than work we find that she is a very kind hearted person as well wherein she performs her musical uh, concerts on the stage for people on the other hand she gives free concerts in prisons and hospitals also for which she does not charge a fees and she also gives great importance to those young musicians who want to learn something and richlin is another lady who calls her a shining inspiration for deaf children evelyn has shown all the disabled people of this world that nothing is impossible evelyn glenny has already accomplished more than most people twice her age she has brought percussion to the front of the orchestra and demonstrated that it can be very moving moving means producing sadness or emotional she has given inspiration to those who are handicapped handicapped is a person who is physically or mentally disabled people who look to her and say if she can do it i can and not the least she has given enormous pleasure to millions enormous means huge evelyn is such a person who has got so much of fame and popularity and the perfection which most people who are twice her age haven't got she has given a lot of value to percussion and she has given inspiration to all those handicapped people who look at her and say if she can do it so can i and not the least on the other hand she has given huge amount of pleasure to millions through her music Evelyn Glenny belonged to a rural area in Scotland and being grown up in that area her parents were also into the field of music but her mother noticed some problem with her at the age of 8 it was when she could not hear by the time she came to 11 years of age her studies or her academic performances started to deteriorate and that's when the headmistress of the school advised the parents to take her to a doctor and have a checkup done and it was then detected that because of the gradual nerve damage she had lost her hearing capacity and by the age of 11 or 12 she was absolutely deaf at first evelyn's life ha- had gone into darkness but she was a brave girl she never knew how to give up she was determined to live a normal life and also pursue her interest in music and that's when the miracle happened on one of her school days she saw a girl playing xylophone and she also wanted to play that just then rock forbes who was a very known percussionist tried to train her and while training he told her not to hear the sound through her ears but to feel it through her other senses and that's what she did she trained herself in such a way 
that she could sense the vibrations of the music through her skin, through her entire body. And that's how she became famous. Despite her disability, she was a well-known percussionist. And she's also known as multi-percussionist. Now, percussionist is a person who can play uh, musical instruments which are of percussion, like which vibrate. For example, tabla, drum, congo, etc. So, with the help of vibration, she could understand the music and made music her life. She was awarded with various awards. She was trained at Royal Academy of Music in London, which is again one of the very famous academies in the world. And then there was no looking back. She did numerous concerts. Her uh, schedule is absolutely busy. But despite that, she gives free concerts in prisons and hospitals. And she also trains young musicians to pick up this art. What a kind, a gentle, a very down to earth person Evelyn Glennie is and of course she is an inspiration to all those people who are just like her. If she can do, anyone can. Now let's see what is the moral of the story. It's very simple. When God closes one door, he opens many others. But it is up to us to keep our eyes open, to keep our senses open, to feel that we can do despite our disabilities or despite our drawbacks. So the moral of this chapter is whatever the times may be challenging or happy one should keep a positive mind. There's always a silver lining to every dark cloud. That's all in this session and now I'm going to flash the question answers in front of you. Have a look at them and I'll see you in my next video where we'll do part two of this very chapter the sound of music that's all take good care of yourself and god bless you all